How's it going, YouTube? Okay, a new camera later and a new sound system later. This is what we have. Okay, so there's lots new to update you about this car. Uh, I've basically revamped all the electrical work. Uh, not me personally, my audio guy from Audio Illusions. Here's a little receipt of it. <laughs> Sorry it's taking me so long to load this video. I've had tons of schoolwork to do, and since it's Thanksgiving weekend, uh, there is no one here. So I won't be annoying anyone with my with my base video because this system makes my old Volvo look like a piece of crap. To be quite honest, I still love my old Volvo. Don't get me wrong, but this one hits really, really hard. Okay, so let's get down to it. This is my new deck. Uh, Let's see if it zooms in. Yep. It's my uh, DNX 5160 uh, Kenwood screen navigation unit. Okay. Uh, in my old car, I had the Exelon version. This, this radio did come with an Exelon version, but for what I wanted to do with it, this version was $100 cheaper, but it offered the exact same quality of sound and options. And one of the options that I got was... Uh, let's see. There we go. That is a microphone right there. So that's for my that's for my Bluetooth to sync up to my phone. Also right here, that little thing right there is an antenna for my in dash navigation, and it actually looks it goes really well with the dash. You really can't tell that it wasn't supposed to be there, which is what I love. Um, this is out of the way, which is great. Um, here, let me turn on the car so you can see what this thing looks like starting up. Um, this deck basically can do anything and more. Uh, you can watch videos on this thing. You can hook up, if you look right here, this is a little SD panel. If you want to watch, like put pictures in or put on music that you have on an SD card, if you happen to have that, you can do it. Uh, this is an AV in, so if you have uh, a portable laptop that you have a video on, but you don't know how to load it onto here, you plug it in there, put the AV out to your computer, snap, done. Uh, you can also hook up an auxiliary for like uh, earphones so that if it's not distracting to the driver while you're driving uh, person a here can listen to their listen to their uh, uh, movie and it won't be distracting as much to you so let's turn this on you can put in basic CDs anything you want hooks up to your USB in the glove box right over there And then I'll explain the speakers after once I've shown you once I've shown you what this deck does. It takes a little bit while to start up. If you notice, there's a color here on the side. That you can actually change. You can change all the colors to anything you want. You basically hit red, blue, and green, and you move the little dials across, and it just does it. Okay, so let's go to the main screen. Okay, so you've got Sirius and XM. I didn't buy that because I'm not in my car often enough. If you are, I'd highly suggest getting it because the sound clarity is amazing. I got a 30-day trial when I bought this. Um, it sounds great, and it there's no lag on it or anything. I don't know about other systems, but this one doesn't. You can listen to your basic radio if you want to. You have your iPod integration. USB, so if you have it on a, on a flash drive, works as well. DVDs for music and for, D and for DVDs as for uh, movies, yeah, then you got your video in, you got your Bluetooth set up, and your navigation. So, navigation, I'll show you what it looks like. Agree, view map. And it tells you where you are, and what's cool is, it'll tell you the song on the bottom. And this is real time traffic. So this little bar here, the little green one, if I'm on a road, and let's say I'm on the highway, and 20 kilometers ahead of me there's a traffic jam, this radio will ping, and it'll scroll across here what the radio uh, update is on the traffic, which is great. And then if you want to go straight back to your music, all you got to do is click the bottom of there. Now, if you're going somewhere, this bottom bar will light up and tell you where you're supposed to go and what turns. So that way you can still listen to your music, but at the same time, you know where you're going. Or you can do it vice versa, depending on how you like. Okay, so then now time for the speaker upgrades. Let me show you. I don't know if you can see the orange in there. And then, if you can see what the brand is in there, you might have noticed, I have a complete and utter Hertz component system. And by complete Hertz system, I mean every speaker in this car, including the component kit there, the rear speaker here, I don't know if you can see, yep, you can see the orange there, and in the back pillars there, 
and the fun in the trunk, which I'll show you in a bit, all hurts, every single one. Now the ones I have in the door is the ESK-165L kit. Uh, it's a six and a half uh, and tweeter component kit. So you got the little tweeter up here and you got the component right there. Um, I don't know the exact specifications right now. Uh, I know it's 200 watt peak. I think they run off of uh, 80, uh, no, I don't know. But I'll, I'll load it in the, in the little bar in the bottom or the side, wherever it happens to be. And then I have over here, the ECK 165 Hertz energy six and a half coaxial unit. If, I don't know if you can see in, but you see right there, there's a little dome tweeter along with the speaker. So technically I went from having two tweeters in this car to four. So now I have four speakers. So I have my mids, my highs, four tweeters, and I have those little ones back there. Those are three and a, three and a quarter inch. I forget, I forget which model those ones are. But then I've got all my RCAs, everything all power wired. Those aren't, those aren't made by Hertz, but my amp in here is also Hertz. And what's, and what's making it sound so good the subwoofer you will see in a bit. But first, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Okay, so I wanted a stealth install, as you can tell. I wanted to be able to use my trunk like a trunk, but I still wanted to hit hard, but not enough that I'm destroying my window panels. So he built it right into the bottom here. This actually comes out. So if you need to get to your battery, say you need a jump, uh, you just put it there. Here we go. So this is the sub. This sub is awesome. Now this, this amp right here is very unique. This amp has a four channel and a one channel built into it at the same time. It's a Hertz EP5. It cranks out 680 watts to the entire car. I don't know the exact specifications. I'll load that later in the video. Uh, later in the on the description, but this this system Basically, I'm running it all off of one amp and because it's built in the trunk Volvos, I don't know if any of you know this It's built right in and there's my battery. So the wiring was like next to nothing. I basically didn't have to spend anything and This is a ported box It is crazy. I had to rewire my uh, final coat. It's just has I even better than I imagined when I was explaining to you on my last video. But now I'll let you see what it sounds like. Uh, I'm still trying to remember what the exact model of that sub is. It's a 12 inch sub. It's the, all the speakers in this car are energy grade, uh, energy type Hertz speakers. It's a, uh, let me try and remember. Uh, gotta remember. It's an, oh, it's an ES 300 Hertz energy 12. That's what it is. Okay, so now I'll show you what it's like when you're using it on your iPod. Okay, so basically you got your, all your scrolls here. So I have my playlists, aptly named Planet WTF. I don't know if you guys have heard this. But okay, now for the nitty gritty, the cool stuff. So you got your audio controls, equalizers, and zone controls. I've already set all that, and I don't want to fool around with it, but I can basically Make it play in any section of the car if I wanted to, too. Let me just put it back in the middle. I've got the, the subwoofer light on four. So let's see how this sounds when I crank it up for you guys. I don't know how this camera will do with the audio, but I really, really hope it does well. So let's go. And the volume goes up to 35. I only ever go to 30 though. Here we go. Oh, my God. 
It can do that all day long, all day long. This system is ridiculous. I'm gonna put it onto a song that actually has a fair amount of bass now, so let's see how this camera handles it. I don't know, this is, all my songs are dubstep or drum and bass. I don't know if you like that. If you don't, tough luck, that's what I like to play. Um, this is a remix by Slothman of Paramore's Crush, Crush, Crush. So, basically any type of dubstep you listen to will have bass. This song, for some reason, has a ridiculous amount, and I'm not complaining. The sound is really nice. <laughs> Pretty intense, I've got to say. Pretty intense. Uh, let's do one more song for you guys before this video runs out of time. So that's the new Volvi audio system. I think it's a pretty sick system, and I'll be loading some more videos of it later on with uh, with some more songs. Later, YouTube.